Only two races into the season, and some fans are already exhausted by Red Bull's dominance. The two RB18s seem to be running on rocket fuel during the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix last weekend. Red Bull, who got another 1-2 finish of the season, have made it clear on the track that they're on a different level than everybody else. And here's why fans aren't happy and investors are worried. Dominance is nothing new to Formula 1. Ever since the birth of the sport, teams and drivers have had eras where they've dominated. The most recent being the turbo-hybrid era between 2014 and 2021, where the FIA entered a change from 2.4-liter V8 engines to 1.6-liter V6 turbocharged engines. And in that period of time, only one team got the Constructors' Championship title, Mercedes. Eight back-to-back -back wins. What a performance! Wait till you hear how easily they also got seven of the eight Drivers' Championships as well. And the other one was on the way till the very last race in Abu Dhabi, where at the last minute a crash happened and an unprecedented call by a previous racing director, Michael Massey, saw Max Verstappen take the championship right out of Lewis Hamilton's hands. Let's go back further in time, just before the Turbot Hybro era, between 2010 and 2013. Red Bull was the dominant team on the grid at the time. Sebastian Vettel, who was the lead driver, got four world championships during that time. We could go back even further to 2000-2004 when Michael Schumacher won five Drivers' Championship titles with Ferrari, but even with such fast and dominant cars, races weren't always boring. Other teams did put up a fight, and some championships were decided at the very last race. Every season there is a team that's faster than the rest, naturally, that is the course of competition. It's the norm in the sport. And the FIA has stepped in many times with new regulations all aimed at making sports competitive. Or, I guess, the sport in this case. The, the recent technical regulation changes which were introduced in 2022 to facilitate closer racing are an example. This time, Red Bull has been able to work within these regulations and produce a car that's better than the rest. Last season, the team had one of the most dominant seasons in F1 and broke the record for the most driver wins in a season with Max. And this year, it doesn't seem any different. From the first race in Bahrain, it was clear that Red Bull had the fastest car on the track and that no other team would be able to challenge them in a fight for the championship title this year. Despite some issues with the car in Bahrain, the team was more than a half second faster per lap than the rest of the grid. In fact, Max was barely seen during the race because he was all alone at the front with no one to fight it out. The Saudi Arabian Grand Prix, which took place at the Jeddah street circuit, further amplified Red Bull's dominance. Sergio Perez won the race, and Max drove from the 15th position to finish second. A rather disappointing finish for his father, who would have loved to see Max win the race. That was an astounding performance, to be honest, and my, my god, did he make it seem effortless. I believe a win would have been possible if he hadn't experienced worrying sounds from the car, forcing him to not push the car to the max. See what I, see what I did there? Yeah? The reigning world champion started 15th in the race after a disappointing qualifying. Max only managed to do a single run before his car suffered a drive shaft failure, bringing his corner two session to an end. His race was anything but brilliant. By lap 25, he had managed to get second. He overtook more than half of the grid and with such ease, partly due to the fact that no driver put up a fight with Max. They all just let him pass when he caught up to them. No one stood a chance against the Dutch and his bull. Max, against his orders from the team to stand down, tried for the fastest lap on the final lap of the race, and he managed to get it, adding another world championship point and thus being able to retain his lead in the championship. Lewis Hamilton got a first-hand taste of the straight-line speed advantage that Red Bull has when he was overtaken by Max on lap 12. After the race, he said that, Red Bull was the fastest car that he had ever seen in Formula 1 and that there was no point in defending against Max. I don't know how or why, but he came past me with some serious speed. I didn't even bother to block it because it was just a massive speed difference. I've definitely never seen a car so fast. I think when we were fast, we weren't that fast. I think it's the fastest car that I've seen, especially compared to the rest. Consequently, there are fears that Red Bull's dominance could be a turnoff for Formula 1 fans, undoing the sport's dramatic surge in popularity in recent years. Fans love seeing battles on the track, a little competition. We want to see elbows out. Not literally, you, you know what I mean. We want action everywhere on the track. We want to, we want to see wheel-to-wheel -wheel racing, especially at the front. Now, this year, it seems like our winners and losers for the season are already determined. 
Red Bull being the winners and McLaren being the losers. Anybody else wondering what the heck is happening at McLaren? The fun of Formula One is the unpredictability of races and not knowing how they're going to end. No one wants to watch a race when they already know exactly what the podium is going to look like. Predictability sucks. And sadly, this year we won't really have that privilege of not knowing. It's so easy and mostly correct to say that Red Bull is, they're just, they're just gonna win. They've proven that already. George Russell is convinced that Red Bull is gonna win every race this season at least. With such predictability, people might lose interest in the sport. Some fans have shared their discontentment with Red Bull's strong presence this season, with most arguing that it's just not fair how fast they are. And my bet is that they aren't Red Bull fans. We could be seeing TV viewing figures really plummet in the coming months or years if Red Bull keeps up this momentum. And that should have viewers and investors more particularly worried. Do you think that Formula One bosses can do something to ensure that the fans are still interested? It's also worth mentioning that it's up to the other teams on the grid to develop cars that can challenge the Red Bulls. And with expected upgrades and changes in some of the cars, we can only hope that a worthy opponent might emerge. Now, while we might say that this season's championship has already been won by Red Bull, there are still eight other positions up for grabs. And we can't hate on Red Bull, I mean, it's all well-deserved, as they've put in a lot of effort to get there. Mercedes team boss principal Toto Wolff said that, We have had those years where we were strong, but it's a meritocracy. We shouldn't talk it down because I remember hearing voices like that between 2014 and 2020. And what makes the sport so special is that you need to work hard to win, and you deserve it. That is a matter of fact. Even if it's not great for the show, the same guys winning all the time, it is because they've done a good job and we haven't. We all hope for good entertainment, and it's our duty to catch up and fight these guys. We'll do everything in our power to fight back, and we'll look at areas of weaknesses that they may have. Entertainment follows sport, and... That Red Bull's dominance is maybe not good for the commercial side, but it's what makes Formula One so special. Here's my opinion. I don't entirely get the adamant complaints about Red Bull's dominance being boring and robbing the sport out of Formula One. All that's happening is within the confines of the sport. It is the sport. While the team being dominant might seem boring, we get to experience great drivers in the sport. There would be no seven world championships for Lewis if Mercedes hadn't nailed the turbo hybrid era. I acknowledge that he is a great driver, but so were the cars that Mercedes developed. Success in Formula 1 is as much dependent on the car as it is, if not more than, the driver. Now it seems to be Red Bull and Max's time. The hunger and drive in Max are ones to reckon with, and they're very much key to the team's success. As the season progresses, we can only pray that the three teams vying for second place, Aston Martin, Ferrari, and Mercedes, are going to step up their game. The least that we expect is a fierce battle between the drivers, and that might have to do for entertainment on the track. We still have plenty of races left, plenty of time for things to shake up, for things to happen. You know, okay? Maybe a Max Sergio rivalry, okay? Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> There's so much remains to be seen. So, yeah, let us know your thoughts on Red Bull's dominance on the sport in the comment section below, okay? Bye for now, okay?